Breaking news this morning from Tesla friends, Tesla has just published a patent for the global headlamps as part of its further development of this product. This will allow the production of headlamps that will meet the requirement of different countries and will reduce the cost of producing different types of headlamps. In different countries or geographic regions, different regulatory bodies or standards development organizations determine the rules and requirements for vehicle headlights. Because of these differences in jurisdictions, global automotive companies produce different headlights that are jurisdiction specific, adding to cost and complexity of manufacturing. It looks like Tesla is solving this problem. Tesla filed for a global headlamp patent on July 28, 2021, which was published on February 3, 2022. The patent describes an invention that allows headlights to be universal and customizable, allowing the company to produce headlights to a uniform standard and customize them to meet the requirements of different jurisdictions in different countries. For example, in one embodiment, a computer-implemented method performed by a headlamp controller included in the vehicle is presented. The headlamp controller may be configured to control a headlamp of the vehicle by a method that includes obtaining configuration information, indicative of a jurisdiction associated, so depending basically in which country your car is. In another embodiment, an automotive light distribution system is provided that meets the requirement of many jurisdictions. The system may include a memory storing headlamp state, information for a plurality of jurisdictions, and selection of current jurisdictions. Basically, from what I understand, friends, your car will know in which country you are, the jurisdiction of that country, and provide headlamp or headlight power according to the jurisdictions of that country. I think this is very interesting, right? So, what do you think, friends? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm reading some comments uh, under Tesmania and some people say this is brilliant. Another person says Tesla needs to patent using GPS with an odometer just to advertise. EV taxes are insane in US states. They are gauging because they all patent that it is impossible to lock the amount of miles driven within the state. So things like this. And another person says what's the patent number or link? I will see if I can find it because I will have the link in the description of this video. Now another person says would it also change based on position imagine if your headlights lamp power changes according to your position for instance would it adjust the lights when a car from a french owner drives on english roads no i think this will be very interesting so let me know your thoughts friends in the comment section below this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel and look what i have next story for you for tesla tesla is going to bring a new generation of tesla batteries and the mass production is apparently going to start from 2023 welcome back dear friends this is armin harian from torquenews.com if you are here first time please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and give us thumbs up please so tesla opened obtains the batteries for its electric cars from a cooperation with the Japanese electronics group's Panasonic. According to media circles, this should go into mass production next year with a new lithium-ion battery, meaning Tesla's 4680 batteries, which I reported a couple of days ago. Tesla fans can look forward to more powerful batteries and more range in their Tesla vehicles once the new 4680 batteries come into production. So it seems a new generation of Tesla batteries is just around the corner. The US car maker gets its batteries in cooperation with Japanese uh, Panasonic, among others, like LG and Cattle and so on. While the battery manufacturer supplies the individual cells, Tesla ultimately assembles them in its battery factory in Texas. The Asian news portal Nikkei Asia is now reporting that Panasonic intends to mass produce a new lithium-ion battery from 2023, and Panasonic also announced that the new batteries should increase the range of electric vehicles by 15%. So this new generation of Tesla batteries should give Tesla a 15% range boost. 
the first deliveries should go directly to Tesla. However, in an interview with Nikkei Asia in November 2021, Panasonic did not rule out working with other electric vehicle manufacturers either. So if this happens, this tells me that the other car makers' electric vehicles will also increase their range by approximately 15%. In order to be able to mass produce the new generation of batteries, Panasonic wants to invest uh, a lot of money. The manufacturer manufacturing facility in Wakayama Prefecture will be expanded with an investment of $700 million to accommodate the necessary equipment for mass production. The annual production capacity of the Wakayama plant has not yet been determined, but according to Nikkei Asia, a capacity of 10 gigawatts per year is expected, which would correspond to around 150,000 electric vehicles. However, before mass producing begin, begins, a small trial production is to be started this year in order to establish safe and efficient manufacturing technology. If production is in the Japanese plant, production expansion in the United States and other countries are also planned. So, this is going to give Tesla more range and more performance. The new lithium-ion batteries are the 4680 battery cells that Panasonic delivered, actually developed at Tesla's request. According to estimates, the range of a Tesla Model S should be extended to 750 kilometers with one charge using this new battery generation. Can someone please uh, convert it to... Miles, uh, I will try also to do that in, in my comments. The battery will be twice as heavy as the older generation, but the performance is said to be five times higher, which is why it is assumed that fewer battery cells will have to be installed in the individual vehicles due to increased efficiency. It should also be possible to produce the new batteries 10 to 20 percent cheaper. Now, Tesla competition stays on the ball. But despite this further development, Panasonic is facing a lot of competition from other battery manufacturers. Tesla itself purchases batteries from the Chinese manufacturer Cattle and the South Korean battery manufacturer LG Chem in its Gigafactory in Shanghai. And Cattle has also announced that it will make a number of investments to further develop its batteries. LG Chem has similar plans. Now, Tesla wants to make batteries itself, of course. In addition, Tesla plans to manufacture the required batteries itself in, in the long term in order to reduce its dependence on external suppliers. This was announced by Tesla CEO Elon Musk during Battery Day in, back in September 2020. At the same time, however, the CEO backtracked in a series of tweets ahead of the event, assuring Tesla intended to acquire more battery cells from Panasonic, LG, Cattle, uh, and not less, after many Tesla followers and uh, asked questions if this means phasing out Panasonic. Incidentally, Panasonic did not want to confirm the press report from Nikkei Asia to the Reuters news agency. The Japanese electronics group said, we are evaluating various options for mass production, including a test production line, which we will integrate into our business this year. However, we have nothing to announce at this time. Of course, they will not announce at this time. They need to wait until uh, they can have something in place up and running and then make the announcements. So what do you think about this, friends, about the new generation of Tesla batteries? What do you expect from Tesla 4680 batteries? And uh, will Tesla offer to change or swap batteries, increasing your range? This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking Tesla news. Look at our records, see how many Tesla stories we report every day. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. Give us thumbs up, like this video, and let's move on to our next story. Have a blessed rest of the day.